<laughs> uh, hello and welcome to uh, I Cybermancy. Now, a lot of you haven't uh, played this game or even seen this game. Alright, so we're going to try and get as much Psy as possible for this one. Because I love Metaserum. Fusion. So yes, anything above 30 is generally good. Anything lower than 30 is generally bad. As you can tell by those red and green numbers. Alright, we'll keep this one. Not very strong, but... Pretty quick and somewhat mentally balanced. So, for this, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial. Now, shift is to run, E is to lean to one side, Q is to lean to another, enter is to pick up things, which is stupid in my opinion. Now, the main problem you're going to have in this game is the loading screen. Loading screens are pretty, uh, pretty crappy. G is to use flashlight. This is pistol. Time I won't be doing the hack thing. Control key to crouch, you know, the basics. You can switch weapons by using uh, the mouse, your mouse scroll wheel. Sprint to shift, space to jump. Monster shooting in the face. <laughs> Pistols work very well if you shoot them in the face. This guy was pretty ugly. So, also noted, uh, if Yeah, T is the, generally the tutorials, but you have to read those. And if you don't like reading, What's well, it starts with you. Enter. Yeah, you can rebind these keys. If you're never going to use the letter E to lean to the side, then you might want to bind your... Uh, your pick up to E, which is easy to do. Now, uh, I'm sure to go up ladders, and look up, enter to talk to people. They don't really have voice acting, you can use this thing for your armory. No matter what, you'll always have uh, one of these. A sword. So, don't worry. You don't gotta get a sword unless you want to. Now, I'm gonna s exchange this for these. Because I just want to go dual weapons this time. Now, 
as you can see right here, speed malice, you actually get uh, penalties depending on uh, how much you're carrying. Like, because I have low strength, I cannot carry a lot. I'm gonna take these kinder grenades. They're like kinder eggs, except more explosive. They weigh a bit, and I'll stick with my light armor. Now, the Psy powers, which you can activate by either using C or Z. Because God knows you're going to want to use those. Especially if you're fighting people. A lot. Now, sword, if you use right click, you can block incoming shots coming at you. Grenades, right click activates it. So, you can throw it, then explode it. Now you're going to get a taste of the combat. If you were a hacker, you would use a uh, hack right here and find a target on this list and fight them using these abilities. Depending on how good your echo signal is, is how much better your attack will be. Or your starting off stats fighting them would be. They spotted me, now to attack. Oof. Uh, yeah, that's another problem. You can die very easily in light armor. Now, the Resurrector will actually survive you rapidly. These guys are the probably the most helpful things you'll get. Because, well, they can take some shots for you. Ah, uh, Skelebor. I hate these things. I think they're like very dull machine guns. Now, as you notice, during the fight I leveled up. You can know that to be which maintains you, which puts your sanity back to normal. Now, every level you gain three points to spend. Now, because of what I am, a Psy Master, as you can see down here, with Psy Master, down at the lower part of the screen, it increases your psi damage, madness, dragon, uh, evoc invocation, transmutation clone, and clones for polycloning. It also helps you resist other people trying to blow you up. Which is incredibly helpful. Now, another thing you can do is research. But it requires Busovs, Busovs, whatever you call it. You need to be rich to do it though. I hate those Skelebores. Now, shotguns are incredibly effective at close range. So don't get close. Especially if you know you're wearing light armor. Now, if I was a heavy armor guy, that would be no problem. I would just walk up to him and shoot him in the face. But sadly, I am not a heavy armor man. Now, you also get experience and levels by completing tasks. As you saw there. I completed a task and leveled up. Your level, health, experience, energy, and sanity are in the bottom right corner, along with how much you have in your clip and how many clips you have left. 
Now, every time you reload, it does not save you your clip. So, be careful when you reload. Uh, I don't want to be mentally balanced. Just gonna increase my side force even more. Which gives me almost five clones that I can summon. But in such a small area, it will only allow me two. Yeah, be careful in these areas because these guys can sneak up on you. Especially if you don't have good aim. swim like a dolphin, I'll never know. Now, the whole reason I'm doing this is because my friends have uh, trouble with this game. Because it's a lot like Skyrim. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't give you like, hey, you should probably do this, or maybe you shouldn't do that. Or, uh, you know, like basic abilities off the start. Now, this guy is not a hacker by any means necessary. He sucks at it. But, that's okay, because he's really good at, at a lot of other things. This game is meant to be multiplayer, so you can have people like Hacker, uh, <coughs> Hackers, Fighters, Snipers. Now, it's always good to have a sniper in your team. And complete it. Now, <laughs> this game is a RPG type game, so your actions actually have impact on things. Like if I shoot this guy right in the face, it probably wouldn't be the best for anyone. Like, you know what, I'm just going to go crazy to show you all, because, uh, screw it. <laughs> now, because I did this, the whole thing is changed. Not very good at just up and fighting.
can... This is a big fight area. So... Yeah, basically from here you're allowed to do whatever you want. The game's not going to tell you anything. Be a Psy Master, be a Psy Master. You want to be some Overlord Supreme? Uh. There you go. Have fun. And, uh, enjoy your time. You can see that I die a lot. For no good reason. This is mainly just to show you that. So... So yeah, enjoy the game, have fun, do whatever you want to do. As you see, this is a multiplayer thing, so grab a few friends, go crazy, shoot your friends in the face, all your choice. And, yeah, after that, you can die. Quite a lot. Mysterious.
So yeah, have fun.